hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to dive into marex disease in poultry of course a major challenge is experienced by every farmer who discover a disease in his own flock because it can lead to massive mortality which in turn can lead to massive loss and in turn destroy the expected return on investment but treatment is always more expensive than prevention of the diseases that is why people always say prevention is better than cure in today's video we are going to be looking at first the causes of the marex disease the life cycle of the causative agent that is the virus that caused the disease the clinical sign and symptoms of the disease ways to differentiate marex disease with lymphoid leukosis method of separate of the diseases prevention of the disease treatment and control of the disease this is what we are going to be looking at in this video today but before we go into the video properly if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any of my awesome video once i drop them and also like this video by smashing on the like button and also share this video with your family and friends and don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section of this video and if you have any question or suggestion or any topic you want me to make a video on you can drop it in the comment of this video and even if you don't know what to write in the comment of this video you can go about ahead and write marex disease now let's look at the causes of the marex disease first marex disease also called foul paralysis is a common disease of chicken it is caused by herpes virus which causes massive mortality and severe loss in production it causes a significant changes in nerves and causes tumors in internal organs this is what causes marex disease now let's look at the life cycle of the virus that is the herpes virus the virus replicates in the host chicken lymphoid tissue Females are more susceptible than males, that is, uh, in terms of susceptibility of the disease. Usually, it affects chicken from 6 weeks of age. The symptoms are seen between 12 to 24 weeks of age, that is, the symptoms of the Marex disease. Now, after looking at the symptoms of these diseases, let's look at the clinical sign and symptoms. First of all, you are going to start experiencing paralysis of the legs and the wings, as you are seeing here on the screen. You will discover and start experiencing death, that is mortality, in your own flock. If the neck nerves are affected, the neck can twist around. During the acute stage, bed may die with no symptoms and tumors will be found in the liver. That is the clinical signs and symptoms of the Marex disease. Now, ways to differentiate Marex disease with lymphoid leukosis because sometimes they do share some common features, that is some common symptoms or clinical signs. Lymphoid leukosis also causes tumors as the Marex disease also do in organs, but it differs with Marex disease because it does not cause paralysis. And then secondly, lymphoid leukosis usually occur in beds over 16 weeks of age whereas the Marex disease is seen in younger chickens. That is how to differentiate uh, Marex disease with lymphoid leukosis so that you cannot mistake in Marex disease with lymphoid leukosis. Now, the next thing we are going to look at is we are going to look at the method of separate of the disease. How does the disease separate? First, the virus is very fast or highly infectious by the moment it is introduced in your own flock. It means it separates rapidly to unvaccinated bed and those unvaccinated bed become infected. As you can see, Marek's disease, the vaccination is supposed to take place right from the commercial hatchery where those particular chicks were hatched. So if there is a failure by the commercial hatchery to vaccinate those particular beds against Marek disease, definitely those beds are unvaccinated and then they can be easily affected with the Marex disease. Secondly, you are going to observe that the virus can stay for a longer period of time. That is, it, sometimes it can stay for life in the feather follicles and dust particles. That is, from the feather it is being transferred to the dust particles 
and the unvaccinated bird become infected when they breed infected birds. And the virus can also be carried out by people and equipment. That is why it is very important as a farmer to ensure adequate biosecurity in your own farm. Emphasis should be laid on to ensuring biosecurity so as people and equipment uh, cannot be also spread this particular disease. So prevention of the diseases. Ensure that the birds are vaccinated against Marex disease from the commercial hatchery. That is, you must have to ensure that those particular birds you bought have been vaccinated against Marex disease right from the commercial hatchery as I have said it earlier on. Although vaccination alone will not 100% uh, prevent Marex disease, especially in commercial birds, it is also important to have a good biosecurity to ensure that vaccinated chicks will develop that is immunity. So as long as there is adequate biosecurity in that particular flock, even the vaccinated birds can be able to utilize that particular security being provided and then boost their immune system. That is number one. Number two, you must have to ensure that uh, you have quarantined any stock for four weeks. That is any stock that are newly imported. You must have to quarantine them for four weeks to see if they are doing well and then the next thing is that you must have to maintain proper hygiene and management practices that is also very important hygiene in the poultry uh, farm ensure to buy genetically resistant breeds that is it is very important when you intended buying this particular bait you find a recommendable hatchery where you can get a resistance disease resistant breeds as this will also help in the curtailing uh, the problem of Marex disease in your own farm. So the last thing we are going to look at here is we are going to look at the treatment of the Marex disease. There is no any treatment. Since there is no any treatment for Marex disease, but there are some measures you need to consider that will be of uh, help to you and it is very important to do that. First of all, the first thing or the first step you need to take is just for you to call any infected beds. What I mean by calling, you know, first time. So diseased beds should be promptly removed from the flock and humanly destroyed. That is, it should be humanly killed and destroyed. Secondly, you must have to ensure that there is a close monitoring of the beds. You must have to close monitor the beds to ensure that uh, they have a good performance. So when you have started seeing changes either in their own activeness or in their feed intake, you can be able to start sensing something and then figure out what exactly is the cause of it. That is why monitoring is very important and the best time to do that is when you are feeding your beds. That is when you observe those particular beds. That is the best time. If you are feeding twice in the day, you observe in the morning and then you observe in the evening. It is also very important. So this is what you should do as a poultry farmer when you observe Marex disease in your own flock. So in this channel, we'll continue to be bringing you updates on different poultry diseases and their possible treatment causes, prevention, and so many uh, of them so it is very important that if you do not subscribe to this channel please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you can you don't miss any of our new awesome videos once we drop them